Hey, Geeks. Tim Tibbetts with MajorGeeks.com. Today, we're going to show you how to identify your Intel processor and generation. Before I do so, for those who need to know, because it's asked of me by you know people all the time, let me just briefly tell you the difference. You have, for the consumer, the i3, the i5, and the i7. Think slower and cheaper, middle of the road and pretty decent, more expensive and the best. Three, five, seven. So I've explained some of the differences here, and I will link to this if you want to get to it rather than waste five minutes in a video explaining each and every one but if somebody was to come to me now and say i want the best bang for the buck here's what i would do if you could find the i7 processor you might be happy with an i5 and get a lot better value but if you can find the i7 processor and you know that the current generation is nine and you go back and get the seventh generation you probably get the best bang for the buck keeping in mind that watch the years so if it's a ninth generation that's out and it's brand new that would probably mean that the seventh generation is now a two-year-old chipset doesn't mean it's bad just means it's good value and that's almost always the way it works like video cards look at the high end look at the lower end look at the middle of the road and try and get somewhere between the middle and the top and you're going to get your best value so there you go it's kind of a general rule we followed here at major geeks for many many years so let's see what you have you can go to start setting system about or you can type in your search or press your windows key plus s and go ahead and type in device manager and click on it when you see it. So let's do that way. Let's do device manager. Device, and you just see it pop straight up there. Just to show you the two ways to do it. Now all you need to know is it's gonna show you what your processor is right here. And as you can see, I have an i7-7700 CPU. See this number seven right here? The first number after your i3, i5, or i7 is your generation. This means I have an i7 7th generation chipset. And we'll show you the other way too. It's pretty much the same since it's such a short video anyway. So start, settings, system, scroll down to about. And as you can see right here, once again, i7, 7. That means I have the seventh generation i7 again so that's about it pretty easy to do i left a link here for the intel website because sometimes you're going to find different letterings in there so and this explains it better so there's your i7 there's your generation indicator there's your SKU, and there's your product line so you might find this big longer number in there and there's a reason for each and every one of them and it's explained down here k f t s and you can match that up with here so as you can see, like the ninth generation could have the letter K and you just come down here, it's an unlocked chipset. And as you can see, there's power optimized. So that's probably means it's the laptop chipset, etc. So there you go. So hopefully that covers everything for you nice and easy, just so you can figure out which generation you have, which one you need if you're shopping, etc., etc. There you go. Thanks for watching as always. See ya.